Ray. My name is Alex Salazar here. I'm with the uh, state of California, the families who uh, have also lost loved ones. And, and thank you very much, Centrice. Centrice Mays, is that correct? Right, right. Okay, and, and so uh, you're a relative of uh, Tamir, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and who was it to you? He's my cousin. He's your cousin? Okay. And, you know, there, there's so much going on right now, and we're here at the funeral. They're, they're burying your, your, your cousin here today. I thank you very much for, for talking to me. No uh, but uh, right now what's going on is, is there's a lot of demonization that's going on of the family. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and I, I kind of want to get into that because, you know, this is typical uh, of what happens and what goes on when, whenever uh, someone is killed by the police. All right, and, and uh, there's just so much, but right now I just want to focus on you and, and you know, what's the family feeling? What's going on? Um, it's a mix of emotions. We've gotten a lot of support from the public. We've also been getting a lot of ridicule and criticizing from the public. Mm -hmm. um, so at this time, we just want everybody to realize this is a hard time for us. This is like media news for everybody else, but this is our life. And under any circumstances should a mother have to bury their child. Nobody wants to bury a kid and under these circumstances it's really hard but when people are coming at us with negativity it's just a hard situation. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind of negativity is it that's going on that, that's happening? You, can just... you know people are saying that he shouldn't have been playing with a gun, his parents shouldn't have bought him a gun. Um, but that's not what happened. No, his mother didn't buy him a gun, his father didn't buy him a gun. It was a friend of his, somebody that he was playing at the recreation center with. That day? That day. It was his gun, and okay. they were just tossing it back and forth. Just so happened when the police got there, Tamir had it. But, but it wasn't his gun, and he didn't take the red orange cap off of it. But the public doesn't know that because it's not out there. So they're going after his parents. They're going after, you know, the family. So that's my whole concern. Right. And, and how do you contrast this with the current situation uh, that's going on throughout the nation with Michael Brown and... Uh, Eric Garner. Uh... I just feel like the police need to have forces that they use that's not so deadly. Why does every situation have to be deadly force used when it's our kids or it, not just black kids? I'm not just saying it. Anybody. Deadly force shouldn't have to be used if it's not necessary. And if in any situation, I think there's something else that could have been done. That's why they supposed we had the, the body cams and the taser guns. What happened to all of that before it was he was shot? Right, right. And, and so you also mentioned the other night when we were on the phone, you were talking about Andy Lopez, your, your knowledge of this other young man who was also... I've only gained knowledge of that since this has happened to Tamir. Um, and I've been talking to people in California and different places. And so I've been hearing a lot of other stories of where police brutality has been used on these kids that, that was deadly. You know, so a lot of cases were not out here, but I guess the more cases come is everything's being publicized and it's, the word is spreading but I just think they need to use a different tactic right right okay definitely so and and what would you say to the world to the country to the other activists here uh, I mean any any words of advice I know it's really difficult for you right now I would say thank you because I've been getting love and support from all over the world I would say thank you guys for so much for what are you doing what you're doing and how you're helping and continue this fight this, this, this is an ongoing thing. We need to continue to fight and to stand together. As long as we stand together, they can't divide us. So I just think we need to stand behind each other and rally behind each other because everybody deserves justice. Wow, very, very powerful. All right, thank you so much, Santrice, for, for giving me a couple minutes here. I know we got to go back. We're going to get started with this funeral. And, uh, you know, this is your, your cousin. When was the last time you saw him? Um, probably in July. July? Mm -hmm, July okay. this, this year. All right. July. And what was he like, really quick, if you can just... He was a typical 12-year-old kid. He was always laughing, joking, playing. He was always busy and moving. He was a joy to be around. Him and his sister, his older sister, were two, tw they were like twins. So when you seen one, you seen the other. So at the end of this, even though a mother is losing her child and we're losing cousins, he has sisters and another brother that are lost behind this. You know, he's the baby of the family. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Okay. All right. And then if we want some more then afterwards. All right. Thank you so much. All thank right. you. Thank you. Uh -huh.